reactions, um, going into Rutgers this week. Um, have you put everything beside you and get ready for them? Yeah, uh, you know, we, uh, we've we all moved on from uh, this past Saturday. Uh, you know, we're ready to see what Rutgers brings to the table today in the film. And, uh, you know, we're ready to get after it and, uh, and improve ourselves. On a two-game winning streak, um, what, do you th- what do you think is the biggest challenge heading into that game? Uh, I did notice that Rutgers beat Purdue. Um, you know, we were in a dogfight with Purdue, so, you know, they're, they're a good team. Um, I haven't watched film on yet. That's what today's for, so I'll be able to answer that later this week. Grant, as an experienced guy, you've been around a little bit, but how are you, I guess, with the with the young receivers? I know that you guys are probably, you know, trying to kickstart the offense. I guess, what what has the discussions been like with you, receivers, you and quarterbacks along those lines? Um, yeah, you know, we just try to be there for the quarterbacks, um, you know, and for the team in general. Uh, try to make the plays. Um, try to, you know, just make a difference in the game. Um, you know, our goal as playmakers is to make, you know, blocks on the edges and, and catch the ball, and and then that's our goal week in and week out. Route, route running wise, have you seen or have you seen? Do you anticipate? I know that that's been kind of a, a topic of discussion with the offense, drops that sort of thing. Can you kind of evaluate that? Um, you know, every game you can evaluate a lot of things, um, whether it's drops or you know wrong routes or route running in general. Um, so you know we're we're going to evaluate the, that today when we go over the film with coaches um, and, and get some feedback. Are those easy route? I mean, to us maybe it seems like easy. Is that an easy fix? Uh, route running, uh, yeah, there could be fixes to it. Um, you know, it's you know, whether it's the timing with the quarterback or it's you know knowing zone versus man, um, you know, which you know affects the route. Um, it's just little things that can you know be uh, picked up on. If you uh, take this into practice and tell us how Peters looks, since we don't get to see him on Saturdays. Uh, he looks good. Uh, he practices well. Uh, he's uh, he's definitely a leader. Uh, he uh, he controls the offense well, uh, and he's a good player. Mood of the team coming out of that one more angry, more determined. How do you gauge it? Um, yeah, we were definitely disappointed after the loss. Um, but you know, if we you know if we all stayed disappointed, it wouldn't be a, you know good for this week. So we we all agreed that we're going to move on and, and take our frustrations out on Rutgers. Grant, do you readjust goals? I mean, with two losses in the Big Ten, how do you refocus the team, or do you still say those things are? Out there, you know, be a long shot, but you still. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we every team has goals at you know the beginning of the year, um, and you know, obviously our goal, you know, is to win the Big Ten and, and you know, obviously you know, make the playoffs. Um, you know, whether or not you know that's a possibility, uh, it's it's still up in the air. You know, anything can happen, but uh, we're gonna you know keep playing like that's our goal, um, and you know just keep trying to win games and just play well. Great, that's a, you know kind of difficult. It's a losses to Penn State, Michigan State, the outside criticism of the program. Yeah, you know, Jim said, you know, kind of, you know, tough game going. It's tough, 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 tougher. How do you see kind of what's happening in the last couple of weeks, helping pay dividends down the road, whether it's later in the season or for the future of the program? Like adversity wise. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, winning is a great thing, but um, you know, losing, you know, obviously no one wants to lose, but losing does, uh, you know, instill a lot of lessons that you know winning uh, can't. Um, you know, whether it's bouncing back or just being able to understand what that feeling's like, and you know, trying not to have that again. Um, you know. No one wants to lose, but it, it definitely is a big uh, lesson for us. And, uh, you know, guys are going to hold on to that and, and, and work from that for sure. Grant, what have you noticed out of, out of Donovan from, the, you know, through seven weeks of the season? Just as far as him getting acclimated, the way that, he, the way that he's learning, picking up on things, what, what have you noticed out of him? Uh, Donovan, he's uh, definitely maturing a lot. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's doing really well in practice. Uh, you know, he's he's picking up on things that you know I wasn't even picking them up freshman year. Uh, you know he's he's understanding the game like a like a like a veteran, um, and and that's going to come a long way you know throughout his career. Can you de- do you guys like can you detail maybe you guys sitting down and have a conversation? What what are like the the X's and O's like when you guys are talking in practice? What are you guys talking about? Um, it's just little things like you know just whether it, just different routes it's it's how to run this route how to you know how to see this coverage how to see the safety rolling you know, he's seen the whole field really well um, and you know you know everyone knows that he's having trouble you know back on punt return you know muffing the balls or whatever and, and he learned from that and you know he hasn't you know, muffed the ball uh, since so that just shows that how mature and how much he's how coachable he really is where have you where have you differed since you came in I mean at one point you were a new you know True freshman, you were trying to learn system. I think what at Utah you had to catch. I mean, where where have you kind of progressed the most? 
Uh, I, th I definitely think I've progressed, you know, in, in, in most of the phases, uh, whether it's blocking, catching, running. Um, I definitely have a, a better eye for the game now. I understand it more. Um, you know, I understand everyone like everyone's responsibilities on the field, running routes, um, you know, where the quarterback's looking, what are progressions, just stuff like that. Um, you know, with time comes, you know, you know, a lot of learning experience, and, and I'm grateful for that. If not this year, have you? But have you seen signs from Oliver and Nico that? They might be doing stuff pretty good in the future. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, both of, both of those guys are you know, crazy athletic, uh, crazy smart, great guys, great teammates, and uh, yeah, they're gonna have a bright future here for sure. Ty said people outside the building are panicking. Um, do you hear that or sense that? Um, you know, I yeah, I mean, I see retweets on Twitter. You know, people panicking or whatever. But you know, I just keep scrolling. Um, I'm not worried. I know the guys in the locker room aren't worried. Uh, we're just gonna go out and play our ball. And, uh, you know, just let the, let the play decide what goes on. You mentioned that Brandon is a leader in practice. How does he compare to John in, the, in terms of leadership and things like that? Um, yeah, just kind of a little tidbit from Coach Harbaugh. You know, I don't like to compare people because, you know, someone, um, you know, gets demoted uh, in a comparison. Uh, but they're both great guys. They're both great leaders. You know, Brandon's learned from John and John's learned from Brandon. And that's just kind of the, you know, the, the scheme of things. You know, people learn from each other. Um, and that's just, that's, it makes for a good team. What's his personality like? Brandon? Yeah. Uh, funny guy, great guy. Um, just, you know, he, he loves the game. You know, he loves school. He loves his friends. Just pretty much that, yeah. All right, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Grant. Yeah.